The Center for Family Health in Springfield is an outpatient clinic of Crozier Chester Medical Center. The community is generally a middle class, working class population. We have a big influx of immigrants and refugees uh, in certain parts of the county that we see as well, so it's more of a global health feel to the office. We are a family medicine practice, so we literally take care of women when they're pregnant and deliver their babies, and we go all the way through pediatrics, adolescent, up into geriatric care and end-of-life care. This is a level three patient-centered medical home. In our center here, we have uh, not just the family physicians, uh, but we have nurse case managers, we have a social work student, and we have myself and three doctor level psychology students. We have uh, pharmacists who come in for us, who utilize our team. She has a history of COPD, diabetes, chronic pain, and depression. The uh, soup utilizer concept was developed by Dr. Jeff Brenner, a family physician in Camden, New Jersey. And they're really highly complex medical illnesses with um, overutilization. So that means that these are patients who are going to the emergency room, to the hospital, to a lot of offices, a lot of testing. We have to have a very intense, coordinated team to handle these patients. So she gets really lethargic and spends a lot of time in bed. So we actually kind of dial up services to what we call the soup utilizer level, which means they get highly coordinated, highly concentrated care with the right person who can manage that. Neurologist had said she needed some blood work. Integrated care is really key for family medicine, so we need a team to handle all the integration of care, and that team has to be really in one, in one place. When the pulmonologist said to her, you need to go to the ER. This is the primary training site for our family medicine residents, and I am responsible for teaching them about the behavioral aspects of family medicine. Many patients who have problems uh, with depression or anxiety or psychosocial issues, poverty, difficulty with transportation, uh, marital issues, uh, they, they don't readily bring these things up to physicians. And so by having our psychology students screen many of the patients who walk into the office, uh, they're getting much more comprehensive service than most primary care offices can possibly offer. I was looking through the chart a little earlier about her case. Mark will come up to me and say, uh, you're seeing someone this afternoon who I know or that I saw has this diagnosis and I think that you know, it would be beneficial for me to speak with them. Uh, what do you think about that? And we'll kind of discuss it. Okay, and after I meet with her, I'll come and check with you real quick, let yeah, you know absolutely. what happened. Yeah, we'll, de we'll definitely touch base. It's a great way to have the patient see both a physician and a psychologist here at the office in one shot. To come into this practice and to be around physicians who are very open, very accepting, very um, interested in the behavioral health component to their patient's needs has been really refreshing for me as a provider because I can feel comfortable approaching him and saying, hey, I'm concerned about this and your patient, let's have a discussion about it. That's why it's nice for me, especially because I have this one place where I come from my uh, primary care, and I can see Barry Jacobs, and I know he's always there, and I can get to the other doctors if I need to. Dr. Jacobs kind of takes the list of patients every morning and circles all the patients who may have some kind of um, psychology or mental health issue that he wants us to try to go and get to see. A lot of these patients have very complex chronic medical diseases and he can't separate the mental from the medical. It's a piece of the care that we just can't ignore. The folks who, who become family doctors are those with a very strong interest uh, in psychology already. But what I'm trying to do is, is broaden their perspectives from uh, you know, narrowly focusing on the biomedical aspects of patients. So it's really all about how her reintroduction to home has been after the hospital. To really see them in their entirety, uh, take into account uh, where they live, the families that they live with, uh, the communities uh, that uh, support them, um, and, and how it affects their health. We find that we have to be in their home. We have to actually go to the home many times. We do Home visit is a component of the supervisor work. You can't do it from an office. The program with my mother, where they come and talk to my mother in my mother's house, and they sit and they talk to her, and they listen to her. Um, you know, that couldn't be more wonderful. And it takes the stigma away from going into like uh, a, a building that says mental health. There's lots of good that, that can be done by bringing different professionals together, uh, by, by working closely in partnership with, with patients and their families, by getting out of the office and going to the home setting, and then, and then by actually better coordinating care across healthcare settings. Uh, we, we improve the quality of patients' lives and we keep them out of the hospital. What we're doing is we're empowering patients to become more active participants in the treatment that they're being provided versus us saying, this is, this is what I want you to do, go do it. 
it's just amazing because I never thought I'd ever see my mother ask for help from anybody, and she does. Thank you.